afternoon and I'm getting ready to head out to a photo shoot. I'm all wrapped up with work for the day besides the photo shoot tonight. And I took my car in this morning and there's an orange theory within walking distance from the repair shop. So I did an early morning workout and I felt so good about it throughout the whole afternoon and I'm still feeling really good. And so in my last video, I did a big mental health kind of update how my birth control is really affecting me. Something that helps me combat feeling depressed is regular exercise and so I am finding that I'm hitting this afternoon slump at like 2 or 3 o'clock in the afternoon and then I go and take an Orange Theory class and I feel better. It improves my mood quite a bit but today I haven't hit that slump at all and I'm not sure if it's because of the early morning workout. So. I'm going to be doing that tomorrow as well. I went on Monday, so I've done two this week. And my goal is four. But how cool would it be if I did five? Maybe on like a Friday. I don't know. Anyways, so I am going to take a shower and start getting ready for the session. Just took a shower and did my skincare kind of. I've been using this every night. It's from Caudalie. It's a serum. And then I love this from Burst. It's their skin soak. Super ultra, so hydrating, but it's not too thick feeling on your skin. I love it. And then this combination at night. But what I realized is that I think dairy is making me break out. I always thought it was sugar, and whenever I would have sugar, I would break out, but recently I've been having a lot more dairy than normal, like ice cream and things, and I always break out after it. I thought that it was the sugar, but I believe it's the dairy as well. So I cut back on that, like almost completely eliminated it from my diet, and my skin cleared up. And then I had some this past weekend I believe or the couple of days before and I'm breaking out quite a bit now but it's really exciting to kind of realize what's been the cause of it here's the sunscreen I'm using right now it's from my dermatologist but I really like the versed one that's pretty affordable I think something else that kind of clicked for me the realization about traveling internationally in the fall so I'm gonna be going to do some a workshop overseas I'll talk more about that later so I'm an instructor at Institute of Code um, and I'll link them down below if you're curious about it it's like an in-person hybrid online boot camp for web development and photography and I believe they're doing a separate stream for marketing I was an instructor there back in 2019. The next one is tentative for November. Life like really is starting to go back to normal for the most part for myself. I used to do a lot of international travel and it's one of my favorite things to do but ever since COVID I have not. The last international trip I took was December 2019 and actually the FDA just authorized the Pfizer biotech boosters for children ages 5 through 11. This is what I've been using on my brows. I returned, I had a Kosa's clear brow gel and I didn't like it. I love this from Anastasia. They do not move all day long. I've never used anything better. Anyways, actually more than 8 million of the 28 million children in that age group have already had two vaccine shots to date. COVID rates are once again on the rise and so getting your booster is just one additional way to protect against getting COVID. And also there is another COVID vaccine booster shot available for Americans as the Food and Drug Administration just greenlighted a fourth dose for those who are ages 50 and older. So you can stay safe and get boosted a fourth time. And if you didn't sign up yet, there are free at-home testing kits available from the government through USPS. They're distributed on a per-household basis. And testing regularly, not just when you have COVID, will help us minimize the spread of COVID and help us get back truly to normal. This brow pencil is from L'Oreal. It's the Brow Stylist Definer, and it's in the color Dark Burnette. I find that the Burnette color is way too auburn. 
I love this. I've used it for years. Nothing can beat this pencil. A little bit of this. I'm not even gonna bother priming my face because I know that all of this is gonna sweat off for the most part. I've been doing this combination, the Kosas Foundation and Concealer, and I absolutely love it so much. Now, I know that this is gonna all sweat off, so I'm not even bothering with priming my face but typically I do prime it and I use this milk primer and then this specifically for the under eyes and this is not a gimmick it really really works and then I set everything with the hydro pro from milk this combination really helps it stay on but this with Estee Lauder double wear for like a wedding day is so good but this Kosas I just love for everyday wear and really Estee Lauder double wear is the best foundation I found as a photographer for something that's not gonna rub off as much on the camera. So there you go. <laughs> I'm gonna finish getting ready and I will check in once I probably am at the shoot. Here's what's inside for today's photo shoot. So I'm going to be shooting on the 5D Mark IV as basically always. Here it is, this is mine. And then KEH camera sent me a Mark IV body to use for filming some videos including one that they're doing. So we're gonna be filming on the Mark IV and then my tripod is packed up. We're going to be shooting the video on the 24-105 USM-1 lens. I love this, it's my favorite budget zoom. And then most of the photos will be shot on the 51.2. And I'm gonna add a Cinebloom filter from moment on top of that so I need to put that actually in here two batteries this is the tripod mount and then I also have my contacts with some Portra 160 in here I'm just liking to use this during the summer for my own personal use so I'll be taking a couple photos on that just for fun and then in here is audio stuff in the soft shell low pro bag and then the back not the backpack this Case is awesome. It's from Manfrotto. I'll link it down below. It's TSA approved, shock proof. You can totally customize this or take this entire insert out. Okay, so let's grab the Sign Bloom filter. This adds a really pretty haze and it comes with a lens cleaning cloth. It's just great for um, adding like a dreamy film like effect. So I'll link this below if you guys want. And then I'll actually do a tour of my office in this vlog that could be kind of fun now that i've had everything organized and set up pop that in here and then we're gonna get going real quick here is my outfit that i'm wearing today to shoot this kind of fit the location and the theme of the shoot it's from love shack fancy i love this dress it's so cute it reminds me of a tablecloth in the best way and then this hat is also well, I got this at Love Shack Fancy, but it's lack of color. And then I have just this simple necklace on that I got in Park City. It's so cool because the chain is uh, flowers and then all of this is handmade. We're gonna head out now to the Olsen Mansion, which is one of my favorite locations. I get approval every time I'm gonna shoot there I filled out a waiver so this is not a venue this is not like a public uh, space it's not a venue you can just roll up and shoot at so if you are interested if you're in the Seattle area you have to contact the venue directly and get approval um, and you also can't do any kind of wedding or bridal photos there so just heads up and I'm so excited to head out okay <laughs> we are here at the location Anya is looking so cute. Oh my gosh, <laughs> so cute. Um, and we are at the Olsen Mansion. Just did the intro and the outro and now Susanna's rolling up and we actually have the whole place to ourselves. Here's our cameras and yeah. <laughs> Go ahead and see the Star Spangled Banner for us. <laughs> okay, this is Zan. You have seen her in many, many videos because she is an amazing model and musician and Seattle will have her stuff linked down below. Zan, how are you feeling today? So good. <laughs> you look so cute. So we're gonna start shooting in this dress in front of the mansion. Welcome to my house. <laughs> okay, second look. So cute. Woo!
Okay, we just wrapped up the photo shoot and I'm letting my car warm up for the AC. Oh my gosh, this photo shoot was exactly what I needed to do. It was with my friends. It was with my friends in like such a fun location. The outfits were perfect. Um, I'm feeling really like fulfilled right now, which I haven't really felt in this way with my work for a while. I mean, in the last vlog, I shared that I um, had a productive day one day where I felt like I was really able to focus, but in terms of like feeling creative, I haven't in a while. Um, and so this was exactly what I needed. I'm so excited for the photos. I'm so thankful that I have such creative friends as well. Um, and that living in Washington State in Western Washington, there's just so many beautiful locations just even 20 miles outside of the city. So I'm going to drive back home and I am going to end tonight's vlog here and I'll see you tomorrow. We're headed on another photo shoot today. Everything is already packed up, but I need to steam my dress that I'm wearing and then my model's dress. So it's going to be my friend Anya modeling for me and I ordered the cutest pink puffy dress. Here's the dress. Here's a couple other random items. Um, I got these three whiteboard calendars that I want to put up on. Well, originally I was thinking this back wall, but I think I'm going to do it on this wall actually right here in like one, two, three. So I got those. Here's my camera trunk. I love this thing. And then I also got these dry erase markers and then this. So I'm going to be using this as like for each quarter. So there's three, there's three months and a quarter of the business calendar. Um, and this is what I'm going to use to like map out content. And then I also have some refills <laughs> basically of these external hard drives. I love these. These are my favorite. I have a package from KEH. I need to go through, uh, probably tomorrow. It's a couple camera bodies actually. We have a Sony body, Nikon. Here is the dress. We are going to steam this out. It's gonna be so, so cute on. The last time I got film developed was June. This is 2021. Let's do my mini film haul while the steamer is heating up. And also how beautiful are these lilies? I've never seen them in this super light pink white color before. My boyfriend got me these and they're so pretty and they're so unique. I just love this color. So cool. I don't know if I am going to switch the vase. I love this vase too. It looks like it's anthropology. I got it at Fred Meyer for like 30% off too. Pretty. I love them and they smell so good, especially with the fan going right now. It's like filling up the whole loft space. So beautiful. So here's what I got at Omega Photo, some random bits. And this is just an empty canister. This had my Portra 160 in it. I got Fuji 400. This is all that they had of 400 color film. I love using the contacts during the summertime. I just think it's so, so fun little point and shoots. And so that is what this is for. And then I got Kodak T-Max. This is black and white. I love shooting on black and white and this is 100 ISO. And then the other film that I got, so this ISO is 640 and it's black and white film and it's a special limited edition anniversary from Rolly. Now the guy at Omega Photo said that these are actually the names of the two founders. You have one that's called Paul and then you have the other guy, Reinhold, I think is how you would say it. And just a cute little canister too. So that is what I got from Omega Photo. I found the home for the chicken. This is where he's gonna live, or she is gonna live in this little guy. Um, let's go trim up the, dr the dress because there's quite a few loose threads. Here's what I'm gonna wear. This is going to go with Anya's dress. So well, so cute. Maybe we'll even get a photo together. It could be very cute. And then these are the perfect shoes to wear with this dress. This is so cute, I just love it. We are at the Olsen Mansion and I'm with Esther, who's going to be my photo assistant for the day. Okay, I know you don't wanna be in it, but can you show them okay. your nails? You could just pop the nail in the old camera. <gasps> these nails? Okay, <laughs> screenshot for inspiration, look how at, look cute. At the we look at the she's looking so cute oh come on give us a little walk up the stairs you look so cute oh my goodness 
stop. Like, head. this is not okay. How you cute you are. Head. Here is the mansion. <laughs> be beautiful. Look at how gorgeous Anya is. I made her pause. I had her pause for this because, oh my gosh, how stunning. Okay, we just finished shooting and we ended up only being around the actual mansion because the light was so good and with the heels that she was wearing it made the most sense to shoot over here versus we were going to shoot on the old golf course but then you have like the gravel and the grass and whenever my clients have heels on i want to make sure that the terrain makes sense with the outfit itself to some degree in this case it made the most sense to stick around this area. Of course, that rule is like meant to be broken. It's just more something to keep in mind stylistically. We got some really cute photos together. Me and Anya, we haven't done like photos together in a while. I'm feeling really refreshed and fulfilled. And I mean, this location. Okay, I thought I would do a little check-in since my last vlog, I talked about how my birth control was affecting my mental health and I recorded I believe Monday through Friday, and it's been two weeks since then. So I filmed Monday of last week and then Tuesday of this week, and it's Wednesday, right? Or no, vice versa, Tuesday of the last week, Monday of this week, and it's Wednesday now. I'm editing the vlog and then I'm gonna upload it. Hopefully it will go up tomorrow. That's why I don't have any final images of the photo shoot with Anya, like I did for my friend Zan because I haven't touched that uh, video tutorial yet, but I'm really excited for it. It was so much fun. So this week I've been really good about Orange Theory and I was great about it last week. Orange Theory is my workout class. I went four times last week and I'm halfway to my goal this week. I'm debating if I wanna go today or not. It's Wednesday and I try to go four days a week. So anyways, um, that paired with getting enough sleep each night has really, really, really helped me. I haven't felt super like sad or depressed other than once one afternoon when I did not get enough sleep and that was last week. And also before I go, Bumblebee got a summertime haircut. It's very interesting. Here he is with his summertime haircut. His hair is so, so, so short. Oh my goodness, but he feels so good. Nobody has been able to cut around his face this short before. So she's so awesome and so patient and understanding. Bumblebee is a senior dog. Actually, since it's August, he should be turning 11-ish. When I adopted him, he was eight. And they've had him for three wonderful years, which is so awesome. So I'm definitely gonna do a birthday party for him. If you've noticed this URL and you haven't headed to it, jessicawhitaker.co slash free gift. I have two gifts I wanna give you. One is a free Lightroom preset download. And the other one is a free budget spreadsheet for photographers. One of the things that um, we go over in that spreadsheet is you have the ability to organize out and see all of your expenses, both personal and professional, variable and fixed. It's a great way to get started getting into the numbers. You can grab both of them for free, jessicawhitaker.co slash free gift, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.